Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up data upload from the Smartsheet system to ConvertKit. This is necessary to automatically transfer new rows from Smartsheet to other systems. For example, in ConvertKit to create new subscribers each time a new row is added, it is convenient to store, process and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next you need to select the Smartsheet Data Source System. Then you need to select an action, Get Rows New. At this stage, you need to connect your Smartsheet account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, you need to enter the login and password from your Smartsheet account. At this stage, you need to give your permission to Apex Drive to work with your account. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. At this point, select the sheet from Smartsheet where the data you need is located. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click Continue. At this stage, you see test data for one of your rows in Smartsheet, if you are satisfied, click Next. This completes the Smartsheet data source setup, now you need to move on to setting up data ingestion. Choose ConvertKit as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action, Add Subscriber. At this stage, you need to connect your ConvertKit account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, you need to specify the API secret of your ConvertKit account. In order to get it, go to your personal account ConvertKit. Go to the Settings section on the Advanced tab. Now in the API secret field you need to click Show. Copy the API secret and paste it into the corresponding field in the Apex Drive service. When the required field is filled, click Save. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. At this stage, you need to select the form to which data will be transferred from Smartsheet. Next, you need to fill in the fields with variables from Smartsheet. To assign a variable, click on the field and select the required variable from the drop-down list. When all the necessary data is assigned, click Continue. At this stage, we see the test data that will be sent to ConvertKit. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to ConvertKit. Go to your personal account and check the result. If everything suits you, we return to the Apex Drive service and continue the configuration. On this, the data reception setup has been successfully completed, now you need to enable auto-update. Select the communication interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.